Faith isn't blind, it's visionary. It's not denying that there's a problem. It's affirming that there's an answer. I would love to say that that's my quote, (laughs) but it's Marianne Williamson. And uh, yeah, I came across, I stumbled upon uh, this recently from her and seeing faith is my word of the year, I was enthralled. So that's what I'm talking about today. Hello, I'm Olivia D'Souza. I'm a multi-passionate entrepreneur. I'm a content and podcast expert. I support visionary entrepreneurs and leaders passionate about living with purpose. Join me as we explore podcasting, life, business, and authenticity. Subscribe for meaningful conversations with a business buddy who gets what it's like. Welcome to Magnetic Pod. I'm stepping in the next little me. I'm here to be everything I can be. So... My word of the year is faith, and I love this word It because I it encapsulates a lot for me. It I was debating whether to go with the word believe, but believe has a different connotation for me. You can believe in something, but it's not true. You could be being lied to. Maybe you get that connotation from faith too, but faith feels deeper to me. It's having faith despite appearances it's uh i guess it's more of an unshakable f- belief is what it feels like to me it's a knowing it's an inner guidance and so recently when i was just searching for something to listen to and i went back to my old uh files of audiobooks and just hit play again on Marianne Williamson's book, uh, I sh- The Divine. I should have looked it up before I hit the <laughs> uh, record. The Divine Law of Compensation. So it's about making money, uh, but it's from, from this. Uh, she's influenced, obviously, she's into spirituality and, uh, of course, in miracles. And so it's kind of infused with, with all of those principles. But I hit play and and it was on the chapter on faith. And I'm like, oh, I needed this. <laughs> and so I love the idea that it's not about denying a problem. It's not about not seeing what's in front of you, but it's about not being defined or limited by it. It's seeing beyond it and seeing possibilities. And in the chapter on faith in her book she talks about an event she had uh, in her early days of speaking and she had a lot of great ideas for this event Uh, and it was a spectacular event and a lot of the things that she did were so good but that she had one idea that wasn't so good and it was that idea of keeping it a surprise of how good the event was so uh it was she her approach was like you just have to trust me it's worth going to and a common comment that people made that were there because she had amazing entertainment there it was just spectacular and people were saying oh my goodness if i'd known all this was going to be happening i would have brought 10 friends and she's like oh yeah great and her parents had flown in to come to this event and they congratulated her and her her father in particular was saying oh well done that's what an amazing event and she burst into tears and she said oh daddy it's a failure and it's like what do you mean it's it's amazing and he said and she says but not enough people came. I I lost $10,000. And his response was, ah, oh, honey, I'm impressed that you had $10,000 to lose, first of all. And if anyone has anything to say, you tell them, I can absorb the loss. And that was like this mantra that got that she started saying. And when one of the singers in, in the show for, that she'd hired for the event was, was fretting about her financial setback she she would keep saying it like a mantra i can absorb the loss don't you worry she she needed to get back into that mindset and not to go on a di- downward spa- spiral with this this friend who had the best intentions but was 
it was fretting and that wasn't actually helpful. And to get out of that, she needed to just say over and over, I can absorb the loss. I can absorb the loss. And, and she did. And she came back and she's had other events and she's learned from it and she keeps going. And so that was her lesson on having faith, even when things don't go according to plan. Uh, and even, yeah, when appearances are not the best, just to have faith and to keep going. And that is something I think we need in life. And uh, another example of faith is uh, in the book that I, as I mentioned in a previous episode, I, I listened to the audiobook of Gary V, and he talks about his success being, he talks about patience a lot. And patience is the same thing as faith. So when people say to him, I've been creating content, I'm not getting anywhere yet, and he talks a lot about being guided by intuition, but he also knew that when he did YouTube videos and only had five people listening, he was wrapped about those five people because he had faith and he has patience because he has faith. So. Yeah, I think things can set you back, but if you continue to have faith, there's so many examples. Cheerio Pitt, who's an Australian, if you're Australian, you would have heard of her, and she was burned in a, in a freak accident in a running race, and she her face is is severely burnt. She was burnt all over the, her body, and she's still. She's still out there and she still motivates people and she is an author and she uh, teaches people to get into running and to you know, basically get more out of life. And, and basically, if you want to achieve anything, I, I do think it comes down to faith. So I think that's important to tap into that. And, and a lovely thing that Marianne said at the end of the chapter that I will say to you now, uh, and that I actually say I actually already said this too in a visualization that I recorded uh, too, which, it, which is if you don't have faith, then lean on mine because uh, two or more people putting out into the universe uh, a desire, a wish, a hope, a faith together can make anything happen. So I'm there with you. I join with you. I have faith in you. Uh, that visualization that I'm talking about is in my uh, messenger uh, visualiz visualization. So I can put a link in the show notes if you want to listen to that. Uh, and that's it from me. Do you have faith? Do you think about having faith? Do you believe in having faith even when things don't go the way you want? Let me know your thoughts. Send me, if you're on YouTube, you can just write in the comments. Otherwise, send me an email. I will reply to you uh, or just uh, hit me up on Instagram. My contact details are in the show notes. And remember, like, subscribe, share far and wide, and I will send you all of the good juju. <laughs> Is that a word? All of the good karma and everything. So thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one. I'm stepping in the next level me I'm here to be everything I can be Like a snake, I'm shedding my skin to be Hello, it's Libby here. Have you ever wondered about what the key elements are that make a podcast truly stand out? Or maybe you're thinking about starting your own special podcast and feel a bit overwhelmed and don't know where to start. Well, I have something for you. Introducing the ultimate podcast checklist. Da, 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 da. It's a step-by-step -step guide that covers everything from the initial brainstorming to advanced growth strategies. It's the perfect companion for both new and seasoned podcasters. And the best part, it's absolutely free. Da, 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 da. <laughs>
<laughs> to grab your copy, simply head to the show notes of this episode and you will find a direct link there and then away you go. Remember, every podcast started with that initial spark and the right resource. So let the ultimate podcasting checklist be yours.